uh, Madam Speaker. Canada and Manitoba have long offered opportunity, peace and freedom to those who are in need of each. Since almost its beginning, Manitoba has offered these qualities to Mennonites who found their beliefs and values being oppressed in other places. In the 1870s, Mennonites by the thousands fled Russia as they felt their religious beliefs being oppressed and compromised. About 7,000 came to Manitoba with the offer of land and cultural and educational autonomy. Among that group was my great-great-great-grandfather and grandmother, Jacob and Maria Martins. In the 1920s, about 24,000 Mennonites fled Russia during the Russia Revolution, where they were subjected to violence and theft of their businesses and possessions. Many had only a handful of possessions as they came into Canada with their families and began a new life, sure that a poor life was better than the life they were fleeing in Russia. The latter group of immigrants is known as the Ruslanders. This past weekend, an exhibit dedicated to their trials and their resilience and dedication to make a new life open at the Mennonite Heritage Village in Steinbach. The exhibit features some of the meager possessions that the Mennonite immigrants were able to bring with them from Russia and the story of how they began a new life and had contributed to our province for the past 100 years. Curator Andrea Dick and Assistant Curator Jenna Clausen have done a wonderful job of telling a difficult story. Madam Speaker, as the House is scheduled to rise next week, I know the members will have a bit more free time. I would encourage them to visit the Russlander display at the Mennonite Heritage Village. It will contrast for them the tyranny of communism with the hope of a people of faith and determination, a lesson that should never be forgotten. Thank you, Madam Speaker.